Hey guys, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and we are at the 2021 PRI show. We are in the Noonan Race Engineering booth, and I'm joined by Barry Pettit here. He's gonna walk us through this 4.8 Hemi engine, and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builder's Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade, Precision Performance Pengrade, always the original green oil. Elring DOS Original, leading technology, leading service. SCAT Crankshafts, everything for your LS engine. And NPW and Engine and Performance Warehouse, for all your parts needs. Barry, thanks for uh, giving us a few minutes here to uh, talk about this awesome engine here in front of us. Obviously, Noonan's gotten known for you know the high horsepower engines that you guys are putting out, a lot of really cool billet pieces, and uh, this is just another example of it. So if you could, walk us through uh, this Hemi engine and kind of what was all involved in putting it together. Absolutely. So this is a 4.8 bore space configuration, uh, tall deck, what we call our 426R platform. Uh, this particular engine package is meant for tractor pulling on mini rods uh, or, any, or really uh, any kind of outlaw pro mod, any kind of configuration like that. Okay. So we'll run, um, this manifold is meant to have a setback just for tractor specific. Uh, so it'd be around uh, 572 cubic inch uh, right in that area to meet the rules. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's really a solid platform. We've had great luck with it. We'll machine the block, cylinder heads, valve covers, manifold, everything in house. So yeah. we try to do as much of it as we can. Yeah, and it's, it's my understanding that you know quite a bit of metal comes out of these things when you guys are are Correct. doing all that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know when you think about it, even just a valve cover, for example, comes yeah. in as one solid block of aluminum. Ninety-eight percent of that aluminum ends up in the scrap bin. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Well, very cool. So obviously you got some really nice pieces here on the outside. Can you talk a little bit of what goes on in the inside in terms of the internal components? Yeah, so we, we obviously use forge cranks. Everything uh, yeah. everything in these engines is similar to what you see in a normal you know, endurance racing or something like that, but sure. it's just a little bit bigger. Right? Sure. So we'll run, this engine will have around like a four, uh, four and a half inch bore. Uh, we can run around a four inch or four and a quarter type uh, stroke, okay. and uh, normally we'll see around 3,000, 3,200 horsepower out of something like this. Okay. Uh, valve train, will, we're comfortable with 9,000, 10,000 RPM out of a 4.8 Hemi. Yeah. Uh, our 49 package go a little bit higher just due to the race cam. It's pretty wild when you think about how heavy some of these components are, how much power these engines can make. Yeah. Uh, to be in that kind of RPM range is pretty astonishing. Absolutely. Now, are there some other brands that you guys typically use that would be involved in this engine? Yeah, I mean, normally we'll use, um, you know, we'll, we'll buy components from other manufacturers for our pistons, like we'll use either a diamond or a CP piston. There's a lot of components to go into an engine. We, we really try to focus on taking what's out there and making the best solution for the racer. Right. So even uh, looking at the valve covers and stuff, stuff like that, we'll try to make uh, the most compact and most effective solution can't get it from a vendor, essentially we're a machine shop, we can make right. it ourselves. Right, absolutely. And uh, what kind of oiling system are you guys running on an engine like this? Uh, we can run anywhere from a two to a three stage dry sump, or we'll have some guys run a wet sump. Yep. It just depends on what they want to run. Okay, yeah, so you can go wet or dry, but is, is dry sump probably the, the more common? Uh, dry sump's more common yeah. in this configuration. Yeah, yeah. certainly. And, and remind the folks how much horsepower something like this could make? Uh, you'd be around the 3,000, 3,200 horsepower range. Yeah, something yeah. Like that. without really breaking the sweat, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it's yeah. really, uh, it's pretty wild when you when you think about it. Uh, yeah. The Noonan brand is known for our reliability. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes it really nice, especially for these tractor guys. I mean, yeah. when they show up to a pool, they only have one chance. They don't get any kind of practice or qualifying or anything. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's an area that we, we feel that we shine uh, pretty well as our stuff will show up and perform well. Yeah, it's got to be dialed in right from the start, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. very good. Well, Barry, we appreciate your time, and uh, thanks for walking us through this awesome Hemi engine. And uh, as always, thank you guys back there at home for watching. And uh, please check out Noonan, check out Engine Builder for more content, and we'll see you guys next time.